We've got 10 more chickens. This is coming to get quite nice. Should we feed just one chicken to the anaconda? That will fit them with some string. Yes, it will. The chicken's old mix. It's ridiculous. Ow! I just tried to bite my nails. Alright, so last time I gave you guys a tour of all the animals. So now you see what collection we have and what we're working with. So obviously I said we breed our own rats, but I have a green anaconda baby in this tub, which you haven't seen yet, but eventually you'll see, it. see her. She only eats like chickens and quails. So we went to Tractor Supply and we bought, well, Shelby, one of our animal girl, like she, Shelby and Kai, they went and bought these little chicks, brought them back, and then Karina started crying and said we can't feed them, they're too cute. So cut to the clip of Karina. Should we feed just one chicken to the anaconda? Just don't show me which one. I'm kidding. You're gonna let it be eaten? Don't worry, babe. We're gonna, we're gonna keep them all. Are you okay? She got upset, so we couldn't. I couldn't kill them. They're all gonna live. We're gonna keep them and make I them promise. happy. I promise. All the chickens are gonna live. I don't believe you. I just. I'm gonna keep them all. I love you. Why do you not believe me? I love you too. Cause you just walked in and said, "Can you feed the chicken?" Should we feed just one chicken to the anaconda? I'm joking. We're gonna keep the chicken. Anyway, <laughs> so I said, you know what, we're not going to feed these ones. You can actually buy frozen quail online, so we're going to buy some frozen quail. As you can see, the black dragon, he's very interested in these little chicks, he wants to eat them. But yeah, we have five little chickens. Right now, they're living in what is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a snake enclosure, because of the light and the heat. But it's 100 plus degrees right now outside of Vegas, and I kind of want them to grow up getting used to the heat, so that way they're acclimatized to it. So if you buy chickens in the colder months, then when it hits like the 110 degrees, like here in, in Vegas, they could die of heat stroke. But if they grow up with it, they're gonna be more acclimatized to it. So we're gonna go to Tractor Supply again and we're gonna buy them a nice little chicken coop today, throw them in there, and then yeah, we'll get some nice little eggs. But yeah, I guess they won't be feed of food and then maybe buy some quail later to feed to these guys. So also my cat Tom does not care at all about killing birds, rats, mice, or anything like that. Oh no, he just killed a rat. Oh, he killed one rat, but he's 12 and it took him 12 years. 12 years to kill one rat. He just comes in here and takes a look at all the animals. He's like he's at the zoo, right? He likes to go up to the enclosures and like look inside and then I think I think this one wants to go home. Yeah. Sounds like it's missing his friend. See you guys. There you go. So let's go to let's go to tractor supply. My dumb ass has a bunch of dumb cars. So I have a 370Z Nismo. I have a Subaru like 2005 STI that's fully built. It's like a rocket ship, it's like 650 horsepower. I have a 1966 C10 truck that's getting done up with a new LS swap motor on air suspension. I have a 1967 F250, which is the car we would be driving. And it's actually, you know what? It's on a, I bought a Chevy Duramax and I thought the F250 is going on top of the Chevy Duramax. We had to like chop the frame so it all fits and that's gonna be the farm truck. I also have three Crown Victorias. One is a sheriff car, like fully done up sheriff car. One's a gang unit car, and then one is this piece of shit over here that was the first car I bought when I moved to America. It had like 80,000 miles on it, and now it's got 250,000. I repainted it twice. It got stolen. They stole all the speakers and shit out of it, and they smashed it, so it came back smashed. So the front lights smashed up, everything smashed up. And now we go pick up hay and shit from the store with this thing, and this beauty, as you can see, it's in mint condition here. <laughs> this is the state of the trunk. So it's fun when I go pick up stuff, right? I'll go, I went to the store the other day and bought a air conditioning unit and I was like, they're not gonna fit. And I'm like, it's gonna fit. We just stuck it in there, sitting up, pushed this all the way up and just drove home. Yeah. I love this, there's a patina. It's nice patina on the roof here. We've got racing seats though. Oh shit, this is the wrong key. Where's the right key? It's the house. Go get it. <sighs> So how it got stolen is all, I don't even know, but all Crown Vicks have one key. It's a universal key that all the cops had back in the day. So if somebody had that key, they can just open it and drive off. So they opened the car and they fucking drove off. I had $5,000 worth of stereo with a subwoofer and everything in the back. They the stole key. it. the world famous tractor supply and um so yeah you don't have to lock the car because nothing to steal everything of value was already stolen <laughs> i mean i don't know what they would do well, they could steal your pillow babe you should lock the car there's a pillow in there like, it's gonna be worth sure at least 20 bucks yeah they're gonna steal it the funny thing is when they actually took it and they stole it they stole like five grand with the stereo but those seats those cobra bucket racing seats were like two grand they should have taken that i mean i'm not telling anybody you know I was, it was, it was funny, when I got it back though, I didn't want to drive it because I felt like it was like molested. Like I felt like the car got molested. Like it just, I thought even just getting into it felt so weird. I was like, oh man. That's, that's, that's got a better rim. Look, check out all the chickens. Hi guys. Waterer. It literally says waterer. 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 
What colour should we get? Which ones have we already get? Get one of them barred rock pullets or the buff. The buff ones. What is this for? What is this for? To let people know that you have chickens. White rooster. It's a fucking wall plant. Okay, it's for a plant. Why do they put this on the chicken thing? Because it's got nothing to do with chickens. <gasps> oh, yeah. What is that? There's the, the little worms for the Oh, chickens. it's a treat, alright. Can I have one of them, please? Sure. Do we need a car? What? Pool? Yeah. We have a pool. We have to buy it. Where? What do you mean? What did you find? The pool. That big metal tub? Yeah, it's the pool. Oh my gosh. I love it. How big, how expensive is this thing? It's fucking oh, huge. It's salt, right? Is it salt? This sticker says salt. I guess it does. Aww. You know, the longest time I was always wondering where you buy all this shit from? Look at the size of this shit. Tractor supply, man. It's the best. They've got stock tanks for days and it's like nothing. Like they're cheap. You found another one? See? How much is it though? Yeah, this would be cool for the snakes, you know? Yeah. So they had like a display of all these chicken coops out the front. It was like real nice. I guess they just chucked them in the back. Like, just chuck them in here. That's not going to fit in the car. Well, that's a free range one. What do we need? Like this whole thing? And then I'll bring it later on. But you need like the outdoor stuff. Like this one. Is that all they have? They had like all these cute little chicken coops. There might be some that aren't put together in the box. Oh, okay, so Where they're... are all the boxes at? They're in the, out in the yard, but they're, if you go out, you go to the center. All right, we're back. He said turn left to the, the fence. There's that chicken coop. There's this chicken coop. There's that chicken coop. Oh, they're all chicken coops. Oh. I mean, that's probably the best one. Probably. That will fit in the truck. Oh. I mean, the trunk. It will With not. some string? Yes, it will. I bet you that will fit. Okay. We'll fit that. We can fit this all day long. Seriously, it's not going to fit. All right, we'll get this one. How do we purchase this chicken coop? They're all 20% off, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah, they're 20% off. It's only 800 bucks. How many eggs do they have to lay for that to become like profitable? Okay, so on this channel, we're also gonna try and make, the whole idea is to eventually get a ranch, right? So we wanna breed and do like experiences with animals. So like basically the animals help pay for their enclosures and the upgrades and everything else. I don't think the chickens are ever gonna pay for themselves. They will. How? The eggs. Eventually the meat. You know what my grandfather used to do? So he had chickens and he had a little notebook and then they laid, he'd like write down that they laid eggs and then when they stopped laying, and then soup. Do you know how much duck shit? How do you call it? What kind of duck is that? It's a delicious. Hey, team members? <laughs> He's like, team I, I members, team members. Me. This is exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. The chickens owned me. Owned me, not owned me. They owed you money, the chickens? <laughs> Can we get five of the marrons? Can we get two ducks? All right, we've got 10 more chickens. So it started off as like five feeder, five chickens for the anaconda to eat, has now turned into 15 chickens and a chicken coop. This costs a thousand bucks. It's ridiculous. Apparently the ducks, they, they protect the chickens like, like a dog. Yeah, they do actually. But the only thing, they, they also will run after kids. Yes, good. We don't so. like kids. Lies, we love kids. No, we hate them. No, we love kids. Mm -mm. Don't say that, please. No kids over here, thank you. We've got plenty of kids. Here's your kids. Yeah, yeah five little chickens that were supposed to be feed of food turned into, what, how many chickens do we have now? 12 chickens, two ducks, yes. and $1,016 in expenses. Very unfortunate. Oh. This is more expensive than that car is worth. <laughs> hey, they already started shitting. I can smell it. And then what? Chicken coops. It's kind of crazy though. Where are all the people? What do we do now? I think you might have to go inside and tell them. Oh, there's a guy there. Should we call him over? Yeah, go ask. Oh, he's on the way, look. Can you help me? <laughs> Slide it in. What am I holding? Is it all like metal or something? Right there. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. You might have to come back. Well, yeah, so that didn't fit. I fucking told ya! I was, I, I was, Who was right? I was right. Yeah, but I was optimistic. It's because like everything in the back there is so big that when you see it in proportion, it looks small. But then, yeah, nah. Alright, so while we wait until this enclosure shows up, I'm just gonna chuck these chickens in. Oh yeah, see like, I don't even know what chickens we got, but none of them are dark. All the new chickens are like, I don't even know what they are, but see, look at these little, look at these dudes. Are you guys cool with each other? Like, can you guys be friends? Hey, don't bite him. Is this like a pecking order thing? That's, that's what it's called, pecking order, right? Hey, don't peck him. Leave him alone. Put them in. 
So yeah, hopefully the big enclosure will come today or tomorrow and then we'll be able to really sort them out. Handful of chickens. <laughs> All right, here you get. All right, so five chickens turned into, what are we at? 17? 17 chicken, holy shit. That's way more. Right. And then we got these things. Hey, go on. They're like, oh, now that chicken that thinks is a big bollocks, right? Now, now the big boys are in town. Come in. Who's? What's up? Look, your friends there, don't worry about it. Oh. Oh. That's the rattlesnake. So, we have chickens living here, <laughs> and a rattlesnake here, and then we have two giant reticulated pythons. If these guys even knew, you know, what well, their next door neighbor was, they'd be trying to get right out of here. Anyway, until later, I guess. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the um, chicken run comes tonight. We'll put that thing together, and then these guys will be outside. Later. Okay, so I have found the dream home right here. It's 240 acres, one hour down the road in Pahrump. What do you think? I'm gonna build. You don't want you know? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna build you a house. We're gonna build you a house. And we're gonna build a go truck, go kart, go kart track between it, and, and then Charles gonna, gonna have a little Range Rover go kart. And we're gonna turn our own butter. And yes. Yes. This is only one hour from the strip. This is genius. I well, the other place down the road on 88 acres had a wedding chapel, so we could even marry you there. You know, yeah. You could become the Golden Dane Minister. minister. Yes. Yes. He's gonna start a meth lab. Yeah. Just for, just for fun. You could be the front. Nobody would think you're selling yeah. meth. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so David's over because we're about to build the, the chicken run just got here. And Char's leaving us. She doesn't want to help with the chicken run. Bye. 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 She's off to a tennis match. Have fun. Win for yeah. us. Yeah, I hope you win big ball. Let us know when we're coming to Wimbledon. I want passes if she's ever makes it there. You're, you're the worst. <laughs> what? Is she really good? <laughs> Is she good, babe? She doesn't play. She doesn't fight tennis. <laughs> this guy. I thought... <laughs> anyway, so like we bought a chicken run, chicken coop, chicken cut. It's a chicken coop with a chicken run, and it arrived from Tractor Supply, twenty percent off, only eight hundred bucks, and we got a couple oh, of. Right. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, twenty nine. Bro, we bought. We literally bought what, like five chickens to feed them to the anaconda, and this has turned now into over a thousand dollars worth of shit, for, so that she can have a couple of chickens. Oh, you, so you're gonna have them for pets? Right? Yeah, we bought two ducks to protect the chickens, because apparently ducks protect chickens. Anyway, so that's what we. Oh, and I bought a drift car today. It's blue. It's a 350Z LS swap. It's fucking perfect. It's gonna be amazing. The whole plan is like we're, we're starting in Vegas, we're gonna get a ranch with a drift track. It's gonna happen and it's gonna have a private zoo. Get the monkey. Yeah, we're gonna get the monkey. Monkeys, breed the monkeys. 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 He's gonna be the monkey keeper. Look at the snake. No, don't jump out. I know, the snake is like... Look at him, look at him, he's just like... He's like, I'm pretty sure I hear something tasty and delicious. He's like, I'm pretty sure I hear my food up there. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, it's way too hot in there. Well, we're about to we'll turn the light off. Hey, grab the duck. No, I can't reach out that far. Okay, yeah, hold this, I'll grab the duck. He's like, no, you took me. No, it's okay, Doc. Oh, they're black ducks. Yeah. Like, this is like literally the worst room for these guys because these guys are like, there's a bunch of snakes and giant lizards around here, and they're like, there's a bunch this of delicious food. treats around here, like yeah. alive treats. Because normally we feed all these animals dead, well, uh, frozen, thawed rodents um, yeah, that have been killed it in the most humane possible way but this is like literally like you know don't say stuff this is like, this this is is like what was this for humans this ducky like, doesn't need to know this what's the delicious thing that humans eat pizza pizza this is like pizza this is like pizza hey, for ducky, uh, this, is, this is lizard pizza ducky that doesn't like you see he doesn't like you he always tries to get in the house so we have to like pick her up and take her out hey. he's like put me down put me down dad I want to come back inside the house. You're an outside kangaroo. You're a lady kangaroo. Whoa. Run. No. She's got cool. She's going. I'm going to try. I'm going for the other door. All right. Let's go to chicken run. As you can see, predator resistant. They cannot get in at all to kill the chickens. Because the area knows wallabies love to fucking eat chickens. Is that right? You want to eat the chickens? No. This is coming again to quite nice. Look at that. It's rather, it's pretty good. Skippy thinks chicken run is his new house. Jack is like, finally some separation from you. Get clown. What you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Bro, you got some straw? Are you, are you eating that? Delicious. That's not for you. 
You know that, right? So it's 1 a.m. and this is as far as we've gotten pretty much completely done. Just a couple more little panels here and there to fix, but we'll finish it tomorrow. But it looks pretty decent. It's a pretty good little chicken coop. I think the chickens will be pretty happy in here. Hopefully we get some nice eggs out of them. Look at that, not bad. The next day. So everybody abandoned me. We built this through the night till two in the morning. And then you gotta put the final touches on, right? So you got happy chicks live here and then I don't own chickens, chickens own me. And then I don't think the chickens, well, they're not really gonna fit in here yet. I was hoping the wire would actually be a little bit skinnier. We'll have to wait till they grow up a little bit. But it's basically the whole idea was originally my anaconda only eats baby chicks, but Karina obviously cried and didn't want me to kill him. So now the plan is, I was trying to figure this out. Like how, how do you make money? Like not even make money, but how do you like not lose money? Cause so far we're down a thousand dollars plus a hundred dollars in chickens and feed it. So we're like, we're about negative 1100 bucks. I don't think we're ever going to make our money back in chicken eggs. Best case scenario is that what we get 16 eggs every day. We're not going to sell them, but at least we have, I guess, good free range eggs. And then what we'll do is we'll use the, the leftover eggs as food for the anacondas and for the big uh, lizards and stuff like that because they like eating eggs. So I guess it's going to be a good way we can make organic food for the animals. We can eat chicken eggs ourselves and I guess having chickens is kind of a fun farm like thing to do. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a chicken coop, check out Tractor Supply. They have some good shit and let's go grab some duck and see what they think of it. This thing is actually pretty well built too. It's a completely waterproof top. I guess galvanized steel. The wood's pretty good. So this construction is actually pretty decent. I think it's gonna last a little while. Not bad for a thousand dollars. I'm sure you can build one for like a couple hundred bucks. That took like three hours to put together and it's predator proof. Luckily where I live, there's no coyotes or anything, but they should be nice and safe in there. There we go. Let's save these two little guys outside. No, I have no idea what kind of ducks these are. If anybody knows where they are, just write, put down in the comments. Uh, they seem kind of happy. They seem happy, right? So I think like for now, we have 16 chickens and two ducks. This isn't gonna be big enough, but I think the plan will be, like they're obviously gonna take some time to grow up, but we'll probably add some sort of extension onto this, like sort of cut a hole out of it and just build a whole extra run or something. Or even open the door and just fence off this gated area and just have them run around this whole area. You guys want to stay outside for a bit? All right, you guys happy? All right. Well, there you have it. Chicken and duck enclosure. So we'll start off here and we'll see how many ducks and chickens we end up with one day. <laughs> Probably like a million. Pop, 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 pop.